Hey, how are you? Hi, not that well. I have a problem with my research. You know, people started to complain last week because their opinion was not considered as much as they wanted to. I'm really confused. I don't know what to do. That's tough. You know, current research is too objective for my opinion. I think that the development of qualitative research could help you a little bit. Maybe you can start by doing semi-structured interviews. Semi-structured interviews? What is that? Let me show you. Semi-structured interviews consist on a verbal exchange where one person, the interviewer, elicits information from another one, the interviewed. It is all about starting a friendly conversation with an open framework that will later allow you to focus in your primary objective. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Why can't I just do questionnaire framework? You know, just formulate some questions ahead of time that could allow them to answer just yes or no. Just doing yes-no questions would be really useful if you want to get a broad overview of what people think about a specific topic. However, it limits the possibility for them to express their deep opinion. I think that that was your problem at the beginning, so semi-structured interviews would help you because of the following three main objectives. First, because it obtains specific quantitative and qualitative information. Second, it obtains general information about a relevant specific issue. Third, it would gain a range of insights on specific issues. Just listen to me, I am, re I am going to give you some tips to have it all done in no time. First, get familiar with the topic you want to get information about. Define your sample and prevent bias by diversifying. Second, it is important for you to identify what kind of information you are looking for. It would be good for you to make a list of information that you are trying to get. That will help you later to prepare your questions. It is crucial to research in advance so you would not end with inside a hypothesis that could never lead to any benefit for science. In third place, start it all with a broad question and prepare yourself with open questions that could allow people to explain further their opinion. Be careful when you are writing these questions, it is crucial not to lead them towards your hypothesis. Don't worry if your original ideas are just a few. Not all questions are designed and phrased ahead of time. The majority of questions are created during the interview and that would provide both of you the flexibility to prove the details of these discussed issues. That sounds nice, but what happened if by being too open I don't get those details that I am looking for? Don't worry about not writing specific questions. Relevant topics are always initially identified and the possible relationship between these topics and issues like availability, expense, effectiveness become the basis for more, for more specific questions which do not need to prepare in advance. In fact, my fourth tip for you is to wait until the middle of the conversation to make more detailed and focused questions. Finally, when you are concluding the interview, it is important to answer those questions that were not that clear. The purpose is to get as much relevant information as possible. In addition, you may want to also ask how the interviews confront the topic of interest comparing to past research that you have read about. Semi-structured interviews will not just provide answers, they will provide reasons for giving those answers. However, you may also want to have precautions when using this tool. A lot of extra information may surface making objectives less clear. When analyzing them, team meeting will help you to, to identify similarities in responses. Doing this kind of interview is a process of learning that requires achieving a balance between open-ended and focused interviewing. This skill is needed to avoid asking leading questions. Be critical when interviewing, listen closely, don't repeat questions that have already been done, and don't ask bad or insensitive questions. At the end, it is important not to forget how to judge some answers and find a way to prove when they are necessary. I really appreciate all of this. Thank you very much. I will start right away. Good luck. Tell me about it when it's done. Hey, where's the drums?